Hello everyone, hello. Welcome to Let's Play The Sims 3 Supernatural Part 1, or Episode 1 as I like to call it. If you don't know who I am and you don't recognize my squeaky chair, because you can probably hear it, my name is Nicole K. Very nice to meet you. Let me know your name in the description and we will virtually shake hands. <laughs> and welcome back to everybody that has been watching my videos. Uh, this video will consist of mostly the create a sim, like hair and clothing items and the different things in there. It's, it's super exciting. It's really exciting. And then the next video will be a let's play it and then tomorrow hopefully I can get the objects from this this things this uh, expansion pack up into one video for tomorrow <laughs> so I sped up that little intro because it was super slow on my computer but now I'm going to read you the town the new town is called Moonlight Falls with its misty waterfalls deep forests and fog shrouded coves Moonlight Falls casts a spell on all who enter the town was founded centuries ago by two immigrant families the Van Goulds extraordinarily long-lived and sun adverse and the wolves high-spirited and strangely affected by the moon they were joined by odd seemingly magical forest dwelling folk sounds like <laughs> the town is known for its peculiar potions made from the plants, gems, and minerals unique to this quiet corner of the world. Some ingredients can only be found at night, but only the truly adventurous stay out after dark. Some say it's a whole different world under the moonlight. So let's get started. Let's let's um let's go open a game, and I'll show you the little intro to the world. Um, it's a pretty neat world. It's pretty freaking big, too. I like that it looks a little dark, you know, kind of mysterious. I don't know. It's it's not so bright green like all the other towns. Except I think... Well, not all of them are bright green. Well, you know what I mean. So here's a little, a little sneaky peeky of the town. Just an overview. And there's a baseball... A baseball diamond? Baseball field? <laughs> I bet the vampires are over there. Uh, just kidding. <laughs> maybe, maybe. We'll see. And there's clouds. If you guys watch Curtis Parody, he says that they're like foreshadowing seasons. And then what do you know? They announce seasons like um, not even a month later, I don't think. I don't, I'm not even sure. It was like when the little preview of this expansion pack first came out and he, he did a now video on it. It was awesome. It was awesome. He totally called it. Good job, Curtis Parody. You freaking rock. He's like my favorite house builder ever. Him and Krill's Krill Sims 3, I believe is his name. So once you go into create a sim, you'll notice this new supernatural type option. You could go human, go human, werewolf, fairy, witch, vampire, a ghost, and if you have super, I mean showtime, it'll be genie, but I, I have showtime, that's why it shows right there. So here's what happens when you turn into a werewolf. Creepy, he's creepy. Arr. You hear him growling. And then his eyes glow, you can see his eyes glow. And this is what it looks like when you transform, trems, I said that weird, <laughs> transform him into his werewolf thing. And you could change like his basic things, his hair, and then his like facial features. Um, and then for the fairy, you have this beautiful lovely lady who grows wings and right now she has the short stubby wings, but you also get this option to change the wings and, and it's pretty nice. I like the first wings are my favorite. I'm just like quickly showing you the different types of wings and you can also change the color as well which I will show you right now. I went back to the first ones because those are my favorite and they look the coolest and they're the biggest and um what is gaudy? You know how something's like in your face? <laughs> and then here is the witch option. She's like freaking Hermione or something with her wand. Flick and swish. Oh, she didn't really do it. That was like a half-ass flick and swish. <laughs> you guys know what I'm talking about? And here is the vampire making a nasty <laughs> gesture with his mouth, waving, being like, hey guys. And he has gray skin, of course. And then here are the different ghosts. I'm actually glad they added this because now I get to know what all the different types of ghosts are because I've asked you guys about them before. And that one's amazing. So first one is old age, then drown, starvation, electrocution, burn to death, mummy's curse, meteor, watery grave, human statue, transmuted, hunting curse, and jelly bean death. What is that? Who knows? I don't even know what that is, but it sounds amazing. <laughs> Uh, he looks so cool too. And then here are the different skin tones that they finally added. I'm not sure if I missed any. The one with that little folder looking thing is a custom skin. Um, it's not added to the game. It might have replaced one of the ones that they added. Hopefully not. Let me know if I've missed any of the different 
the different skins, but um, I do like that one. That one will come in handy for certain things, like the Grim Reaper. Oh, <gasps> and here are the new female hairstyles. They are so cute. There's this one that I just adore. I adore it. You'll see it in a second. It's the one with the, the um, the hats, like the accessory type type hairstyles. You know what I mean? And that one is more, I guess, like a werewolf. I like the Widow's Peak. I'm in love with Widow's Peaks. Is that, is that weird? I don't have one. Maybe that's why I like them so much. I'm so jealous. And this hairstyle, I, I, I cannot say that I like every hairstyle. That's, um, that would be annoying. <laughs> but it's still really cute. I love the braid. And here's a fairy hairstyle. It reminds me of Claudette or something from True Blood. That's right. That's right. <laughs> this expansion pack just reminds me of True Blood. So here, I'm not sure what this is. I assume it's like some get away from me, you evil vampire thing with the nests. Yeah, I don't know. And that's my favorite, <laughs> like, werewolf hairstyle. The cute little curly cues with the headband. And here's one for a witch. This one, I'm not sure. Is it for a fairy or something? Because it has the flower in it. And here's some awesome witch's hat. You can make Hermione now. <gasps> you can make Harry Potter characters now. Oh, that would be amazing. I mean, I can't, I can't help but think of Harry Potter when I see witch stuff. Is that, is that just me or do you guys do that too? And here's another fairy hairstyle. I kind of wish it didn't have that thing on, on the part, maybe. Is that just me? And here's a cute one that we all seen in the commercial. And I had to change her eyes and her eyebrows for a second just to show you these two sliders. Well, this first one, not really, but it's the ear slider for pointy ears. So that'll look good with everyone. That'll look good for anything. Maybe not the witches. I don't know if witches have pointy ears. And then here's the one for the eyebrows. <laughs> Isn't that weird? Sorry, I didn't want to cough on camera. My throat was like bleh. Um, <laughs> doesn't that look so funny? That looks hilarious. And here's the new makeup. It's kind of like skeleton-ish. Uh, that's just the default color that it came in and and those are different face like face paints I guess you can say and I'm gonna take off all the makeup just so you can see the face paint in detail which I think is pretty neat too it looks kind of like cracked and like old but it just makes me think of skeletons it could be for vampires though and here are the tattoos and I know I should have just <laughs> changed the area of the tattoos but it's okay I don't think people really focus on tattoos that much and there weren't very many you know I mean there was a lot but not really. And here's the first shirt for the females, for the werewolves. And here's this one, which is adorable. That would look so cute with the curly hair, wouldn't it? It's that style. And here's my favorite fairy top. It's it's just the best top. I, it's, it's so detailed. This one isn't as good. It's kind of like bleh. <laughs> I don't know. It reminds me of ice shards, though, so that's neat. I'm not sure what that's for. Is that for a vampire? This is like a bomber jacket, doesn't it? Does it make you think of a bomber jacket, kind of? Makes me think of one, the brown one. And here's some more tops with the poofy sleeves. I don't know what they're called, poofy sleeves? I guess they, shoulder pad, poofy shoulders. Hmm. <laughs> I don't know, I love all the colors that they put in there, all the presets. This style is so adorable, I love the frilliness. And this one is probably my second favorite. Um, it's, I don't, I don't know why. I don't, I would never wear that in real life because I don't feel like I could pull it off, but I think it would look so cute. Oh no, that was my dog. I hope you can't hear her. My microphone tends to pick up a lot. And here is another one that I adore, but again, probably wouldn't wear it in real life. Those things on the elbows, like, it's not really flattering. I don't know. I'd have to see that on somebody in real life. And there's these shorter tops. This one's really cute too again the presets like what they were they did oh no this is my favorite one sorry <laughs> i got so excited this is my favorite one that's something i would wear in real life that's actually i actually wear stuff like that in real life almost every day believe it or not i mean you probably don't see it in my videos but you know here's a cool skirt they put a lot of different types of outfits in here like finally <laughs> they did a really great job with the details and all the colors and everything i just props to the sims 3 makers and the people who helped create this supernatural expansion pack it is amazing and that would totally go with those uh sweaters or maybe it's this one and that reminds me of one of those what are they called military jackets because the military jackets that i've seen like the modern ones have those buckle things on the front yeah and that skirt for which is 
adobo and then here's a I'm not sure if I would put that with the shirt that it would match because it would just be too much and then here's a dress that I would love to use on somebody but I feel like that that big thing in the front like what is that a scarf what's up with that oh my dog is driving me mad she's going crazy today I'm so sorry if you can hear her in any of the future videos that's my favorite dress that is the best dress ever. I'm actually going to add that as an outfit to one of my sims, um, like after this maybe, if I remember to, because it's just the best. That's, I don't know, it's my favorite outfit out of everything on here. I mean the outfits and the different clothing items. Yeah, I'm just going to keep talking. <laughs> I don't want to talk about each individual clothing item because I don't want to bore you guys. And here's shoes, they're kind of like Mary Jane style. Uh, which is my favorite type of shoe if you didn't know <laughs> and here's some cute little little booties and then for accessories we have earrings and necklaces which are are pretty awesome like um, that big frilly one man I can't like a collar is that what it's called I don't know I have no idea and those uh, that reminds me of Esme's bracelet I can't help but bring it up. And then for wolves, you have, or not wolves, it could be for vampires, wolves, it could be for anybody actually. That's like the style of nails anyway. The pointy thing. I don't know. I wouldn't do that though. I would probably stab myself because I'm so damn clumsy. <laughs> and here are the boy male hairstyles. I try to put them in different colors just so you could get the different feel for them. Hmm? This is like the vampire one. And I think it looks good in all colors, actually. I don't know, maybe it's just because that's a really great style hair. Hairstyle? This one, what would this be for? Fairy? Because it's like really, it's really um clean looking. Or would this one be? Hmm, that's a toughie. What do you guys think? Let me know, let me know. My cat is just staring at me. Ugh, he's weird. And then hat, which is hat. Draco. <laughs> I don't know. This guy makes me think of, um... I don't even want to say it. It's freaking Twilight, alright? <laughs> I don't want to mention TV shows that involve vampires too much, even though it's kind of hard. And then a witchy, um, a witchy, uh, what are those called? I don't know. I wish I knew. I need to brush up on some, some, uh, new words, styles. And that reminds me of Legolas from Lord of the Rings. Doesn't it remind you of him? It reminded me of him. And then there's new facial hair, <laughs> and it looks pretty funny, but it looks really good on the wolf characters, uh, believe me. And here are some, uh, here's the very furry, new furry hairs <laughs> that you can put on your male sims, and on the back too. And then of course on the arms, and of course on the legs, and the feet. <laughs> I mean, you can make them like really hairy, but I guess that makes sense because they're wolves, you know? Or it could even be on regular sims, because this is just a regular sim. And I just wanted to show you that it the makeup also works for males too, and it looks so much better on the males. That Look at that preset. I didn't even touch it, and it looks amazing. And here's the first shirt for males. Um, I like that one. It's totally the werewolf one. Here's another werewolf one. Uh, that one, I'm assuming that one's for like fairies. It's really cute. That one's totally for fairies. And this what is this for who is this supposed to be for I don't know I'm not complaining though it's it's a really great it's a really great coat I love the layers too it's like they're ready for for seasons that was my thumb by the way I accidentally squeezed my hand too hard <laughs> you see like there's an undershirt a button-up shirt and then a coat sometimes like a, a shirt button-up shirt and a jacket or sweater or vest or something like that it's awesome like, I would love it if people, if more people wore clothes like that. Is that just me? Maybe it's because I wanted to be winter here so bad. California is so hot. And here is my favorite coat that they have for these people. That's my favorite one. The one with the red. It's, and this is like, no, oh, it's tied. This one's my favorite. That one's my new favorite. I'm totally going to use that for everybody that I have a current household for. I'm sorry if you can hear my chair, man. This thing is annoying. I gotta, I gotta get a new one. I gotta fix it. Who knows how to fix a squeaky chair? Yeah, I have a hard time not saying things are my favorite or saying that I like something. It's just too difficult. I like everything. I enjoy, I enjoy their hard work and trying to make everything look good and realistic. Cause they did. I say this every time, but Bo, 
though, but they do a really great job. Those pants, the ones before these, amazing. They're my new favorite pants. <laughs> and some more fairy outfits. I love the fairy outfits, too. These ones, I'm not sure what these are for. Are they for the vampires? Who knows? These ones are cool, too. They match the female ones. The ones that I said look like military that reminded me of military coats. Now, I don't know why they do that with leggings. Like, it gets on my nerves. They just add these random lines in the pants. And it's like, why would I want to wear that if you got a big bunch of lines going through the knees? You know? I don't know. And here's the one outfit that came with um, Supernatural for males. Here are the shoes. And these shoes are amazing. I want some shoes like that. I don't even care that they're male shoes. And over on the top right, some more bracelets some fingernails for your for your furry friend or a vampire and i don't know what those top two are but the bottom one is the infamous vampire tattoo for new traits the very first one is brooding which is sims often can't help themselves from contemplating the riddles mystery and meaning of life sometimes the weight of these incredibly deep thoughts can be a distraction and can actually slow down the creative process slightly then there's gatherer. If you can pick it, plant it, or catch it, then a gatherer is right sim for the job. Gatherers are especially talented at finding ingredients out in the world, and they produce the finest crops. They even achieve better results when working with rare materials like ore and gemstones. Night Owl. Some sims love the nightlife and occasionally feel the need to boogie. They are called Night Owls. While Night Owls might come alive at night, do not even bother getting them out of bed before 10 a.m. Why am I so tongue twisted? <laughs> Proper. Proper etiquette has quite become a thing of the past. Luckily, proper sims still remember the old ways and conduct themselves by a code of honor or at least a code of nice manners. Supernatural fans. Supernatural fans love everything having to do with supernatural sims, be they vampires or werewolves or witches or whatever. They like to hang out where supernatural sims hang out and they always have something special to say when meeting a supernatural sim face to face. And last but not least, there's Supernatural Skeptic. There's a world of magic and unexplainable wonders out there, and Supernatural Skeptics don't care for any of it. That stuff might be exciting for some, but Supernatural Skeptics prefer the security and comfort of normality. For the new lifetime wishes, the first one is Alchemy Artisan. When chefs combine ingredients, they make something tasty. Wicken, Wicken? When an alchemy artisan mixes ingredients, they rewrite the rules of human existence. Mastery of the alchemy skill is not easy, but incredible powers await the dedicated. Only through constant practice, careful study, and the application of a wide variety of powerful elixirs will a sim earn the title of Alchemy Artisan. Reach level 10 in alchemy and use 50 alchemy elixirs. I said alchemy a lot. <laughs> the next one is Celebrity Psychic. Telling people what they want to hear can be an extremely lucrative business, provided you can find the right people and anticipate what they desire. The ultimate destination for any pseudo-seer is the position of Celebrity Psychic. Hey, did it? Where you are actually celebrated for your vague promises and double speak. It's like being a politician, except people give you their money voluntarily. Reach level 10 of the fortune teller career scam artist branch. <laughs> nice. Greener gardens. Fairies have a natural green thumb that make others jealous with their pristine lawns and green gardens. But even for fairies, it's not easy to, easy, easy to tame the lawn and make it their own. It requires a lot of practice and even more patience to reap the reward of having a yard that's the envy of the neighborhood. Make 100 plants grow using bloom and reach level 10 in gardening skill. Leader of the pack. Anyone could be in a pack, but few sims are capable of being leader of the pack. Being the alpha dog takes hard work, discipline, and a nose for fine treasure, but it can't be done alone. A loyal following of fellow werewolves is required to show everyone who the big dogs are in town. Woo -woo. I mean, woof woof. It is not for the faint of heart to take the journey to become leader of the pack. Convert five sims to werewolves and find 40,000 simoleons worth of objects while hunting with pack. Wow. Magic makeover. The first fairies know that everyone can use a little inner beauty, but is also... But it also takes a charismatic fairy to really know what inner beauty is. Teaching sims about inner beauty won't be easy, but it's a lesson well worth teaching. Spread the beauty and everyone will have a better day. Grant 12 sims inner beauty. Reach level 10 charismatic skill. I like that one. Master of Mysticism. Why are we here? What does the future hold? Will it hurt? <laughs> These questions are so large as to be exclusively rhetorical, yet we keep asking. What if you had the talent to discover the answers? What if you could nurture a unique ability to find understanding in the chaos of the universe. 
You could be the ultimate master of mysticism. Mysticism. <laughs> wow. Reach level 10 of the fortune teller career mystic branch. Mystic healer. These days, Sims can be transformed into all sorts of odd things like toads, zombies, and tragic clowns. Ooh. Even Sims that are feeling blue or have inner beauty can't catch a break. It takes a selfless Sim who cares deeply for others to cure these poor souls of their afflictions. Aww. Not many are up to the task of being a mystic healer, but for those who are, they can feel good inside for doing so. Cure 12 different transform Sims using sunlight charm or potent cure elixir. Turn the town. Some vampires believe that the measure of a vampire's greatness can be seen in the number of conquests. Rest during the day so the long nights can be spent quenching the thirst for plasma and covering those find what? Converting those you find worthy. There will be many challenges to face in order to turn the town, but the reward will be worth it when you leave a bite in town lore. Drink from 20 sims, turn 5 sims into vampires. Whoa. Zombie master. For a zombie master, there's no beyond, <laughs> beyond better friend than a staggering brain craving zombie. They're just so cute. But for other sims, there's nothing more terrifying than seeing a relentless zombie off in the distance. To be a zombie master is to accept responsibility in the event of a zombie apocalypse what turn 10 different zims zims into a zombie using the reanimation ritual or potent zombification elixir <laughs> zims zombie sims i just made up a word <laughs> Now for some new foods which i don't know if they added with the update or this expansion pack but we have potato and truffle tort uh alu masala curry ceviche Chile cone carne, firecracker shrimp, vegetarian chili, firecracker tofu, uh, porcini risotto, and mushroom omelet. Oh, that sounds so good. And the last new thing is the new music, which is Dark Wave. So, for The Sims, we have Lana, and she is our, our little fairy. Here's her everyday wear. Here's her formal wear, dresses from late night, sleep wear. Um, I think that's from, like, Master Suite. And her athletic wear. I had to throw in something purple. I love lavender. <laughs> and she's absent-minded, charismatic, friendly, nurturing, and supernatural fan, which is funny. Uh, her lifetime wish is to be a magic makeover or to do a magic makeover. The magic makeover is her lifetime wish. <laughs> uh, her favorite food is autumn salad. Favorite music is pop. Aqua is her favorite color. That's her voice, and she is a Libra. So for our werewolf, we have Jake. <laughs> this is what he looks like as a werewolf. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Those shoes are from Late Night, I think. Um, but the clothes are from here. This is its everyday wear. His formal wear. Love it. It's my favorite outfit. Sleepwear. Uh, athletic. And swimwear. He is brave. A gatherer. Has good sense of humor. He's hot-headed, and he loves the outdoors. He would like to be leader of the pack, of course, because he is a werewolf and he just has to be. <laughs> that only makes sense. Uh, his favorite food is steak. His favorite music is dark wave. Uh, his favorite color is blue. Apple glow. That's his voice. And he is a Taurus. So for our witch, I have changed her name. I've made it Gabby. <laughs> uh, I noticed that everybody had names that started with the same letter. So I was like, no, I cannot do that. I'll get confused. Her formal wear, <laughs> her sleepwear, athletic, which kind of doesn't really match. I should change that. And her bathing suit. And that color looks amazing on her. She's brooding, gatherer, green thumb, lucky, and a natural cook. I'm not sure why. <laughs> she, uh wants to be the alchemy artisan. Is that how you would say that? Her favorite stuff, <laughs> firecracker shrimp, classical music, favorite color is spiceberry. Here is her voice. Rips on Noopy. And she is a Scorpio. So last but not least, of course, we have Cal Heron. Now you'll notice that him and the werewolf have the same last name. I'm going to make them brothers. They're going to be like turning the entire town into werewolves and vampires. Like it's going to be crazy. Well, it's not going to be that intense, but you know, I'm making it into some, I'm like, um, over exaggerating. <laughs> so, uh, he's ambitious, artistic, a bookworm, evil. I'm going too fast. And a night owl. He wants to turn the town of course, had to do it, had to do it. <laughs> and he 
His favorite food is sushi. I'm not sure if that's going to change. It usually does. Indie is his favorite music, favorite color red. That's his voice. And he is a Capricorn. I usually don't choose the lifetime, the, I mean, the things myself, the signs. So please don't get angry at me. I know some people like me to change them, but I just leave them how they are. So tune in to the next episode of Let's Play The Sims 3 Supernatural, which would be part two, which is going to be up later today, hopefully, if not tomorrow. And then the objects video will be up tomorrow or the day after that. So thank you for watching. Let me know if you enjoyed this. Any feedback is greatly appreciated. And I hope you guys have an amazing day. And I hope you go have fun playing The Sims 3 Supernatural because I'm about to have some fun. It's going to be, it's going to be fun. <laughs> Bye guys.